Good morning, my friends. Today is Thursday, August 22nd. It's Thursday of the 20th week in Ordinary Time, and it's the Queenship of the Blessed Virgin Mary. You may see, you may not be able to see it, but we're preparing for candlelight adoration under the stars. Uh, this is a Wednesday night. Uh, and uh, also be formed. Uh, we're going to start September 11th, so don't miss... Uh, this great season on Book 3 of the Catechism on Morality. So what is the Queenship of the Blessed Virgin Mary? What are we celebrating here? This feast was instituted in 1954 by Pope Pius XII. And if you go back to Scripture, you know, we know that Jesus is the King of Kings. He's the King of the universe. Uh, Mary is his mother. Elizabeth, you know, when Mary visits Elizabeth and John the Baptist leaps in her womb. She says, how should the mother of my Lord come to me? The mother of the Lord, mother of God. And so if Jesus is the king, uh, it's, not the, it's not the wife that's the queen, but it's the queen mother. We hear in the book of Kings how uh, King Solomon, it says, he reverenced no one, but when his mother Bathsheba walked in, he got down on a knee and he reverenced his mother as, as the queen mother. And her role was to sit at his right, listen to the needs of the people and whisper them in the ears of her son. And it said her son could not deny anything that came through his mother. And so when I read that, like the light bulbs went on, I thought that's Mary's role as queen of heaven and earth. She's seated at the right hand of Jesus, just like Bathsheba was with King Solomon. She listens to our petitions and she elevates them to her son, Jesus. So we pray for her intercession today that Mary's role, just like Jesus honored Mary, we honor Mary. We don't worship her. And Mary brings us closer to her son. She prays for us and says, follow him, you know, worship him. He is the king of the universe. If we look at the gospel today, Matthew chapter 22, verses 1 to 14, I want to think about the last invitation you receive to an event, maybe a wedding, banquet, uh, I'm bad at, I get the wedding invitation uh, and I set it aside usually and sometimes it gets buried underneath papers and then I, I forget until maybe the family says, hey, hey are you coming or not? Uh, similarly, in this gospel today, uh, Jesus says to the chief priests and the elders, he's, he's given them a parable, the kingdom of heaven be, may be likened to a king who gave a wedding feast for his son. He dispatched his servants to summon the invited guests and uh, they had all kinds of excuses. Some ignored the invitation and went away. Uh, the rest laid hold of their servants and mistreated them and, and killed the people who came giving the invitation and the king was enraged. And so we are all given an invitation to come to the wedding feast of Jesus. The, the foreshadowing of the heavenly wedding feast is Mass. And so often we have a standing wedding invitation every Sunday to go to Mass and to participate in the greatest banquet this side of heaven. And it's a preparation for us to experience the heavenly uh, banquet you know, with Jesus, all of the angels and saints uh, worshiping him. And so the king says, if they're not going to come, the invited guests, go to the main roads, invite everyone, the bad and the good alike. And so this is where Jesus says he, he, came to, he came to save everybody. He came initially for the chosen people and many of them turned their backs on him. He says, everybody's welcome. The good, the bad, now we have to repent from our sins and follow Jesus. And that's what's interesting. It says here, he saw a man there not dressed in a wedding garment. And he says, my friend, how is it that you came in here without a wedding garment? Now, when you think wedding garment, maybe you think like baptism. Uh, we put on the white garment after a baptism. And he says, the man was reduced to silence. Then the king said to his attendants, bind his hands and feet, cast him in the darkness outside where there'll be wailing and grinding of teeth. As I prayed with this, I was thinking maybe it's baptism, but also, you know, we can't just sneak into heaven without a relationship with the Lord and without putting our faith into action. You know, we say salvation is faith first, followed by putting our faith into action. Faith without works is dead. And so let that be our prayer today that we have the standing, we have the ultimate invitation to follow Jesus and to be with him in heaven. 
We have a standing invitation for Mass. Let's not put that invitation aside and let it just sit there, but let us go to Mass every week, every day if you can, and know that your heart is being prepared for eternity with God in heaven. So Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for your Son, Jesus. We Help us to be generous, give a generous response to your invitation to us. We want to follow you. Help us to repent from our sins and turn to you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please like, subscribe, and share these videos with at least one person today. Two into your families, Buen Camino, and God bless you.